and it's out here. A cycloid is a curve traced by a point on a circle as it rolls along a, a straight line without slipping. So we can see that if a circle is being drawn from here and it is revolved from this side, we can see it's a cycle. And let's pick this one as a circle and it's revolving from this side. And it's being traced in the street like becomes a cycle. So now let's pick a distance and let's develop our cycle. So let's pick a distance of 50 millimeters. 50 millimeters from year to year. Let's find the center. But before we can find the center, let's divide by set the line to get the center. So let's open more than half of the line. Let's draw an arc up and down. Come here, let's bisect the arc. And after that, let's join the point together. So with the center that we've gotten, let's call it point O. With this center, point two. Stand here, open to here. Let's go here A. Let's go here B. Open to A. Open to A. Draw a circle. After that, maintain it. Let's go here C. Let's go here D. Now, with that, stand at the same distance. Stand at B. Draw an arc up and down. Come to D. Draw arc up and down. Come to A. Draw arc up and down. And come to C. Draw arc up and down. After it's done, join the point to the center. So in this case, we've divided the circle into 12 equal parts. And after we've divided it, we are going to trace it. So join the point. We are joining the point. Join the point. We join the point. We join the point. Now for this one to revolve, we have to look at the distance that we are going to get from the straight line. So that one is going to be pi d. So it's pi 3.142 times 50 is going to get you 157.1. So let's take a distance of 157.1 from here. Let's draw the line first before we can trace it. Draw a straight line from here. Uh, it's supposed to be straight line. There shouldn't be any gap beneath it. Draw a straight line. Let's do another straight line from here. Extend this side too. Good. Then let's take the measurement. That is one 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 five seven one one five uh, one five fifteen seven down. Good. So here is going to be fifteen seven one five seven. And five seven. So the distance to here is supposed to be fifty millimeters. Good. And here becoming twenty five. Now in this case, let's use our set square to draw a line from this point here, thirty degrees downwards. 30 degrees downwards and let's normal it. Let's go here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So let's open our compass to a reasonable distance. A reasonable distance. Let's divide this line into 12 equal parts. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now after this is done, after this is done, let's join this with a line. Starting from 12. Starting from 12. First line. Second. Third. Fourth. Here. And here after that you have to draw 90 degrees upwards let's project it 90 degrees upwards make sure it is square that is the corner of the drawing board it's supposed to be exact 90 let's project them up upwards We get it 90 degrees upwards. We get here 90 degrees upwards. We get here 90 degrees upwards. 90 degrees upwards. 90 degrees upwards. And here 90 degrees upwards. Now after this is done. What you need to do is that you have to join this point here to this a straight line edge from here to here with a straight line here from here to here with a straight line good that's one two and ten Construction ally. Good. Three is already there. Three and nine is already there. Let's join four and eight. Let's join five and seven. Five and seven. The street line six is already there. After that, let's pick a distance from here, from here to here. It's 25 millimeters. Okay, let's go here C1, let's go here C2, let's go here C3, let's go here C4, let's go here C5, let's go here C6, here C7, here C. C8 and here C12. So we are picking the distance from 0 to 12. Come and stand at point C. Cut from line 1 and 11. Do an arc here. Come to C2. Where's line 2? Line 2 is around this side. 3. 3 is here. 4. 4 is here, 5, 5 is here, 6, 6 is here, okay, 6 there, 7, then line 7 is supposed to be here, 8, line 8 is supposed to be here, 9, line 9 is here, 10, line 10 is somewhere here, 11 is somewhere here and 12 is here 
Okay. Now from there we have to join the point together. Let's join the point. Three points at a time. Point at the time. Good. So this cyclot. So this cyclot can be here. So you could see that the circle is revolving and tracing on the line. It's revolving and tracing on the line. So that is cyclot.